Good morning. We the students of food production as a part of our curriculum are here to commemorate the World Food Day which is celebrated every year the world wide on 16th October. Myself Akshata, Nimai, Pratiksha and Drishya will take you along the journey under the guidance of our faculty Gayatri Mam. World Food Day 2021 in order to mark the anniversary of the founding of the food and agriculture organization of the united nations this day aims at tackling global hunger and striving to eradicate hunger across the world to know more about world food day let's welcome pratiksha for a speech world food day is an international day celebrated every year worldwide on 16th october to commemorate the date of the founding of the united nations food and agriculture organization in 1945 the day is celebrated widely by many other organization concerned with hunger and food security including the world food program and the international fund for agriculture development WFP received the Nobel Prize in Peace for 2020 for their efforts to combat hunger, contribute to peace in conflict areas and for playing a leading role in stopping the use of hunger in the form of a weapon for war and conflict. The World Food Day theme for 2014 was family farming, feeding the world, caring the earth. In 2015 it was social protection and agriculture breaking the cycle of rural poverty in 2016 it is climate change climate is changing food and agriculture must do the theme of 2020 was grow nourish sustain together our actions are our future World Food Day was established by FAO's member countries at the organization's 20th General Conference in November 1979. The Hungarian delegation, led by the former Hungarian Minister of Agriculture and Food, Dr. Paul Romani, played an active role at the 20th session of the FAO's conference and suggested the idea of celebrating the WFD worldwide. It has since been observed every year in more than 150 countries raising awareness of this issue behind poverty and hunger. Since 1981, World Food Day has adopted a different theme each year in order to highlight areas needed for action and provide a common focus. FAO issued World Food Day medals each year to commemorate and promote the anniversary. Most of the themes revolve around agriculture because only investment in agriculture together with support for education and health will turn this situation around the bulk of the investment will have to come from the private sector with public investment playing a crucial role especially in view of its facilitating and stimulating effect on private investment In spite of the importance of agriculture as the driving force in the economies of many developing countries the vital sector is frequently starved of investment in particular foreign aid to agriculture has shown marked declines over the past 20 years Here is the Italian coin and Afghan coin dedicated to the first world food day in 1981 thank you If agriculture goes wrong nothing else will have a chance to go right here is drishya to give a short speech on agriculture Agriculture is the practice of cultivating plants and livestock. Agriculture was a key development in the rise of secondary human civilization whereby farming of domesticated species created food surplus that produce can be broadly grouped into food, fiber, fuels and raw materials such as rubber. types in agriculture pastoralism involves managing domesticated animals in nomadic pastoralism herds of livestock are moved from place to place in search of pasture food and water this type of farming is practiced in arid and semi arid regions of sahara central asia and some parts of india in shifting cultivation a small area of forest is cleared by cutting and burning the trees the cleared land is used for growing crops for a few years until the soil becomes too infertile and the area is abundant another patch of land is then selected and the process is repeated there are many types of farming like shifting cultivation and intensive farming contemporary agriculture specifically farming remains a hazardous industry a farmer worldwide remains at high risk of working related injuries lung diseases noise induced hearing loss 
skin diseases as well as certain cancer related to chemical use and prolonged sun exposure. The love of gardening is a seed once sown that never dies but never grows to enduring happiness that the love of gardening gives. It's my pleasure to welcome Pratiksha to share the plantings in her terrace garden. Hello everyone, this is me Pratiksha from grade 11. As we all know, the essential veggies or products we use for our food every day is almost mixed with chemicals, which is not healthy. So here is a way to eat healthy as much as we can is gardening. Let me show you some essential plants which can be grown in terrace easily and even healthy without any pesticides. Let's begin. So here it is. Dragon fruit, mint, lady's finger, lemon, pomegranate, Tomato, pineapple, curry leaves, brinjal, musk melon. And here are some spinach varieties. Spinach, wild grape, insulin, aloe vera, lemongrass, dill leaves and so on. The tip to grow the plant faster is liquid fertilizer method. Liquid fertilizers are the fertilizers that contain nutrients and vitamins for plants in liquid form. You can use them by sprinkling or pouring directly to the roots of plants. Liquid fertilizer can be prepared by fermenting kitchen waste, warm casting, grass clippings or coffee grounds. To make liquid fertilizer from kitchen waste, you will need to collect kitchen waste like vegetable peels, rotten fruits and anything that can decompose easily. And we will add water and then keep it aside for a week to decompose. Liquid fertilizer is rich in iron, potassium, nitrogen, phosphorus, calcium, etc. After you collect the kitchen waste, choose a big size bucket, preferably a plastic one. Now add water up to the rim of the bucket. Loosely close the bucket with cover and keep it outside where sunlight falls. It may take more than a week to get the liquid fertilizer from the waste. When the microorganisms in the bucket start decomposing, the waste you may get bad smell from it. You can use a face mask to, to deal with the bad smells of the waste. You can collect the liquid fertilizer after a week. That is perfect time to collect as kitchen waste contains different compost with different composting life. If you live in a hot place where the temperature is high, the process may be quicker. It is advisable to stir the waste on an alternative day to help the decomposing process faster. Collect the liquid waste which is dark in color using a mesh after a few days. You will need to add about 10 times of water to the final collected amount of liquid waste. This will dilute the alcoholic content of the waste if any built up during the process. This liquid is rich in many nutrients. Use this liquid fertilizer to your indoor plants, outdoor plants, a kitchen garden once in a week to see a good result. Thank you. The world's hunger is getting ridiculous. There is more food in a rich man's shampoo than in a poor man's plate. Now, I would like to call Akshata for talking about facts on hunger. A healthy amount of calories is 2,100. However, most people who are chronically hungry eat even less than 1,800 calories a day. For example, in Ethiopia, a child will only receive one piece of injera, a traditional Ethiopian bread which has only 166 calories and no nutrition value. 11.3 percentage of the world's population is hungry. That's roughly 8.5 million people who go undernourished on a daily basis, consuming less than the recommended 2,100 calories a day. 10 countries that have achieved greatest success in reducing the total number of hungry people in proportion to their national population are Armenia, Brazil, Cuba. Poverty is the principal cause of hunger. The cause of poverty include poor people's lack of resource, an extremely unequal income distribution in the world and within specific countries, conflict and hunger itself. Almost 1 in every 15 children in developing countries dies before the age of 5, most of them from hunger-related causes and disease. While hunger exists worldwide, 526 million hungry people live in Asia. 
As a result of hunger, children are introduced to poor health, low levels of energy and reductions in mental functioning. Hunger can lead to even greater poverty by reducing people's ability to work and learn. The United Nations estimates that over 130 million more people may go hungry in 2022 due to the economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic. Health food satisfies for a minute, healthy food satisfies for a life. Now, I would like to call Nimai to change some junk food to healthy. Now I would like to present a video by Aishna Kumar, the owner of the Punjab Express, where she talks about her experiences in food and hospitality industry. Hi, I'm Archina, founder of the Punjab Express. I was into banking and into social service for 18 long years. And what brought me to Punjab Express was my father's dream. Yes, I was attending an interview where it was asked lot of questions were asked and she was fulfilling her own dream which his father saw one day and yes one day when I came back from the interview it triggered into my head who is going to fulfill my father's dream and thus Punjab Express existed and now it is three years it's been it was difficult for me to come from a job to a business because job was easy eight hours 
and then whatever comes in goes out was few more hours to work but yes the punjab express the hotel the restaurant the business need lot of energy not only my energy but my family energy as well because the timings are unmatched morning hours evening hours are absolutely unmatched with what my children and my family required thus it was difficult but my family supported me thoroughly yes my children were self sufficient self reliant they were preparing their own meals even sometimes i was away from my hometown they were there in delhi for long long years and then they came up here just now so they cooked by themselves they made everything by themselves and today they are there with me they are supporting me fully and helping me out the procedures it to sustain the business the lot of leadership you read the labor management the customer retail customer management is lot of things which we need to take care so yes first thing is i maintained my quality quantity was given to the customers and we were able to do much better can i ask you a question sure ma'am how do you feel after 3 years of punjab express yes i started a very small venture where i could only have 16 people sit there and eat food now i have 82 people who can sit at a moment and eat food so it gives me a great pleasure happiness satisfaction to the hard work and the time given to the venture thank you it seems to be a great honor to propose the vote of thanks to all who have helped us in making this commemorate a very resounding success i would like to thank gayatri ma'am for her guidance and moral support i am happy to express a vote of thanks to our staff that has made this commemorate a grand success through their motivation and dedication we have conducted various events i thank all those who have participated overwhelmingly and making the event success i would thank the volunteers who ran around doing a lot of things thank you so much once again i thank all for your cordial cooperation thank you